Hi everyone, it's Celeste and welcome to my channel. My channel is all about cosplay! I teach you tutorials on how to make the outfit, how to do the makeup so you can become the character of your dreams. Today's video is actually not a cosplay video. You probably knew that from the title. Today's video I'm teaching you how to make this DIY pinafore outfit. Now this pinafore is very simple, it's overall based just like what a pinafore is, it's kind of like an apron skirt kind of combination. But this one is a little different in the essence that we are going to be using suspender clips for the back straps. So you can change it any which way you want. If you want to crisscross it, keep straight, make a V in the back, you have that option and liberty to do that. This is a really easy DIY in my opinion. You basically use a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch throughout the entire video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and if you haven't become a member of my sewing pin cushion called YouTube. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into this quick little tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it, so, you know, here we go. Into the tutorial we go go. This project I'm using one meter of fabric. I'm using this British cotton print that I got in Vichy earlier this year. I have a vlog on it. Go check it out. First, I'm going to iron out this fabric completely open. I don't want any folds on this at all. So, take your time and iron this bad boy out. It's easier to work with cotton, in my opinion, if it has no folds, and trust me, this is really helpful if you want to have a nice, crisp, easy way of cutting. Take out a measuring tape. Measure how long you want your skirt to be from your waist. My measurement came out to be 17 inches with seam and hem allowance. Lay your fabric the way you want it to hang, and mark how long your skirt will be. Now my fabric is a cotton, so what I'm going to do is actually rip it down the center. The reason why my fabric can do this is because it's woven. It's not knitted. So I'm going to repeat this process again because I want my skirt to be extremely full. If you can't do this, go ahead and cut your fabric. Sometimes I like to have the salvage edge as my hemline. I make sure to hide the little seams where it's at, but for this project, I'm going to be cutting it off. Now line up the skirt edges, making sure that the fabric is facing the correct way, right sides together, then sew it together. I didn't want this seam to fray, so I serged the end. Since you already serged that seam, serge the entire perimeter of the skirt. You don't want this skirt to fray, so go ahead and do that. I'm going to take the bottom edge of my skirt and sew a single straight line down that. This is going to help me create the perfect fold over hemline. This line of stitches is actually going to be the perfect guide creating our hemline. We're going to fold it over and make sure that the stitches are at the very bottom. Once they are all completely lined up the way that you want it to be, take the iron and iron it down. This is going to help secure the fabric and naturally fold better when you go take it to the sewing machine. If you want, you could actually use a decorative stitch for your hemline. This is going to make it pop in a subtle way. If you're not used to using decorative stitches, go ahead and practice a few times or just use a single straight stitch down the bottom hem. This is what it looks like. It has cute little hearts at the bottom, and again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Now line up the bottom hem line. We're going to pin it together and then sew it at a 5 8 edge. This later is going to help you add the zipper in. Remember, don't sew all of this together. Take out your remaining fabric. Find your waistband measurement. Cut two 4 inch strips to create the waistband. I didn't have that much fabric left, so I used the scraps. Now assemble the waistband by sewing all the pieces together. Now make a tube out of the waistband by sewing the edges together, lengthways. I also decided to serge the edges, this way it doesn't fray before I add the skirt on. Now I'm going to use hand sewing to gather the skirt. I like gathering it by hand versus machine because I have more control. Now I'm going to pin the skirt gathered to the waistband. I like to pin it in multiple areas, first starting at the middle point and then the sides where the seam is still open. So then I continue going and evenly spreading around the skirt. Make sure to pin as much as you need to, sometimes it'll be less. Once you are happy with your gathers attached to your waistband, sew it together. Take your time with this, this way you don't break any of your needles and your pins. Turn the skirt over and flip the seam upwards. Top stitch the waistband to help keep the seam in place. Now grab a zipper. I decided to use this nice short nylon zipper and I'm going to be adding a blue one because I think it'll contrast nicely. Fold over your edges first and then add your zipper. Change your presser foot to a zipper foot and make sure it's still a straight stitch. Pin down if necessary and then add your zipper in. With the skirt being done, take out the largest piece of fabric. You want to create an isosceles trapezoid out of this. 
I wanted to make one large enough to cover my breast area. This can change depending on your design. I'm using a Sharpie to go ahead and mark out where I wanna cut it up. Once you're happy with your design, go ahead and cut the edges off to create your trapezoid. I cut two of these out and this way I have a lining piece and I had enough fabric to do this. If not, go ahead and just hem the edge. For me, I just serge the edges together and then I'm going to flip them inside out after I attach the straps. To make the straps, go ahead and take out the rest of your remaining fabric and cut them into even strips. What I like to do is fold it over and then just cut that full. Keep making strips of fabric until you have the desired length for your top. Take your straps and sew them together to create one super long strap. Now fold it over and then serge the edges. So this way you have the right sides facing each other and the wrong side facing out, creating a super long tube. Turn the tube inside out, that way the right sides are out, and then go ahead and top stitch it. This way it does not move around and it's a nice flat strap. Put the straps inside your bodice top piece and sew it down. If you aren't adding a lining, sew it to the top. But you know, if you're adding a lighting, sew the two straps at the top edge inside the lining and front. Make sure to secure this by going back and forth and having a super strong stitch. Go ahead and cut off the top corner and this is because you're going to flip it inside out. If you don't have this, go ahead and hem the top part and then you will be done. But for me, I have the lining, flip it inside out and then use something like a knitting needle to make sure the entire edge is nice and flat and creased. Now that you have a nice flat crease edge, go ahead and top stitch it to lay in place. Serge the bottom edge. This way it does not fray when you add it to the waistband. So now find the middle of your skirt and you wanna do this by finding the sides and then folding it in and then there's your middle. Find the middle of your front piece and make sure it's the side that you want to be the front. Fold it in half, this way you're going to find the center front and then pin that on the inside. Now carefully join the two pieces together with a nice straight stitch. After joining the top piece, I decided to go ahead and top stitch the top of the waistband all around. This part's a little bit optional, but I decided to add an extra hook and bar to my skirt. I'm just going to hand sew this in next to the zipper, this way it stays in place and does not come undone. Try your skirt on and see how long your straps are. Some straps you can actually just go ahead and sew on to the back side, but I wanted to have the freedom to change it up. So I'm gonna first mark how long my straps are going to be, pin it, and then cut that off. So now I'm going to be using suspender clips so I have the liberty and freedom of where I want my straps to go. If I want them crisscrossed or if I want them to be really close at the back, I have the liberty to do that. I'm going to thread the strap through the clip and then just do a nice fold over straight stitch to keep it in place. loving the first one so much, I decided to make a second one with some of the fabric in my sewing stash, and with the remnants, I made an extra pocket. This pocket can actually fit my cell phone and hold it in place. I absolutely could not let this fabric go to waste, and I'm glad I made it into this cute pinafore. It has Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, Spider-Man, Captain America, and Daredevil. Out of all the characters on this outfit, I was so shocked to see that Daredevil was on this print. making this outfit. It was so much fun. I've made two of them. So I made the Red Bulldog one and then I made the Mini Avengers Black one. Let me know if you guys are inspired by this video with a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Check out some of the other videos floating around my head. And let's go ahead and say stay inspired, be creative, and I will see you in a future video. Bye!